Hey everybody, it's Gina B. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time, but I'm back. Yay, I'm back. It's only taken me two and a half years to get here, but I'm back. Um, and I'm super excited to be back. I can't wait to start doing videos again. Um, I have completed this hardcover carpetbagger journal. My heart and soul has gone into this one. I mean, I, I try really hard to put a piece of me into every journal that I make. But this one is especially... Um, it's, I'm going to be sad, I think, to let her go. She is for sale, and I'm going to post a link below to um, where she can possibly be purchased. But, I, and I named her Wisdom. God wanted me, I, I believe God wanted me to go through some stuff um, in order to gain some wisdom, to grow as a person, to become a better, happier person. Um, and I think that, I think that's why it took me so long to finish it. But I'm super excited to show it to, show her to you. Um, I'm in, uh, me and the Hubster are in a brand new house. I'm in a brand new craft room. I mean, we've been here for a year and a half, but heck, it took me eight months just to unpack all the boxes. So it still feels brand new to me. Um, but I'm, I'm out in the country. I'm in a brand new craft room. I have... I'm, I, I have a beautiful backyard, there's butterflies, there's birds, there's cardinals all the time. You can look out through the tree line and see a, a, like, a va like a vast, huge uh, uh, farmer's field. Um, I love my neighbors. Um, I'm just, I'm very blessed. And I chose Mother's Day to, to come back and do my first video. Uh, so, and I know my mom's going to see this, so mom, I love you. Um, I give God credit first and foremost. I'm thankful for my husband who loves me, who has stood by me and has not failed me. But especially today, there were times in, way back in... November of 2019 all the way up till August 2020 when we moved into the the, the new house there was a, a, that period of time where things were really rough for me um, I experienced a lot of losses there was tragedies I had to learn how to love and find joy in life in a completely different way and during those times, my mother is 900 miles away from me and she has health issues and she's in her early 70s and and there were times when I'm sure, you know, she felt like, whew, I mean, it was not easy for her and it's still not easy for her, but she did not, for during those months, that those beginning months, she called me every single day and you it was almost as if she she forced me you forced me mom to engage in life even when i didn't want to because you knew it was not my time to give up it wasn't my time to to leave this world and um you helped save me so i just want you to know i love you I appreciate you. I'm grateful. God knows what he's doing, people. I'm not even joking. It is my ultimate belief. God knows what he is doing. And he knows... He knows who to put into whose lives. He gave me the perfect mother for me. I was not always a great daughter. But I want you to know mom that I'm so thankful that you're my mom thank you for save, helping to save my life thank you for getting me to this point where I can smile again and I, I can be happy again um, and you're a big reason huge reason why I made it this far 
So happy Mother's Day. I hope somebody, I mean, I'm, I'm 900 miles away. I, I wish I could be there in person, but I hope somebody, at least somebody, puts a smile on your face, lets you know how much you're, you're loved, how appreciated you are, and how wonderful you are. I love you, Mom. So let's um, get started on this um, flip through. <laughs> I called her wisdom. This uh, all of the images are in within its pages are either I got from public domain sites that I was introduced by Susan Taylor Brown. She has a YouTube channel. If you don't know who she is, I'll put a link below to her channel because you're going to want to check her out. She I have learned so much from her first and, and so many different things, but one of the things that she did was a series on her channel, uh, a series of videos on different places you can go on the internet to find beautiful, awesome, copyright, copyright free images, paintings, pictures, scans, you name it. And, and she literally does a lot of the work for us. Um, she basically tells you how to navigate on these sites. There's several of them, and and that changed my life. So thank you, Susan Taylor Brown. Um, she is so she's so brilliant and so smart, and and she just she has shown me and others so much. But. Go check out her channel. Show her some love. And if I haven't gotten those images from public domain sites, my my first go-to person is Mrs. Cog. Liz, you're the fascizzle. That's all I have to say. Um, so all the images are either Mrs. Cog's images or from public domain sites that I've gone to from Susan Taylor Brown's series. Okay? I'll try to remember to put a link below to all of these channels as I go along, okay? So, on the inside front and inside back of, of this book, this journal, um, there is big pockets. And on the inside of these pockets are fairly thick cardstock embossed with a 3D embossing folder and then I did alcohol inks over the embossed areas with some stickles glitter glue um, but I mean come on I love how it came out it just looks old and been around you know for more than a couple minutes okay um, so uh, right here on the bottom is a little plaque label it says this book belongs to um, on top of this is I have some really cool ornate uh, cross stamps um, and inside is a little tag that says well it's it obviously vintage it looks like an old like French receipt um, but the word constant is there and constant is in another place in this journal as well uh, because it is my ultimate belief that God is the one and true constant for me. Uh, he never fails me. In one way or the other, he never fails me. This is a journaling card. There's one here, and then there's one on the back side, too. Uh, journaling card, I made among MS Scrap Busters. Melina Pilant. Melina, I hope I'm saying your last name right. I think it's Melina Pilant. Um, but she does a tutorial MS Scrap Busters. Um, and she cut out petals from scrapbook paper. Scraps of paper. And I, I got into this so much that I, I spent like an entire... I spent two days and made like 30 of them. Okay, so here we go. I don't want this to... I mean, I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can. Um, this is one of the tags, one of my favorite tags to make. It's called 
Jigsaw Tags with Mum. That's the name of the video. Um, using Tim Holtz paper dolls. But it's called Jigsaw Tags with Mum. And the channel is Which Craft Do You Do? It's flat. It's not raised. It, it's literally like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh my gosh. I made like 50 of those. I couldn't stop. This is a piece of a snippet roll that I made from Nick the Booksmith's, I think she calls it Quick and Dirty Method. There's a little bell attached. Can you hear it? In the background, you're going to hear snorting and snoring. It's my fat chihuahua. <laughs> He lives for me, and he just lives in this chair in my craft room. And as long as he can see me or be around me, he's happy. But he snores worse than a human. So that's if you hear that, that's him. His name is Smudge. Um, so I got a little bell here. I got a little bit of slow stitching here. A little button, uh, like a, kind of like a, it looks like a marbled button. Um, I got this from. Carol Tinson years ago on her pop-up shop. Um, mini ephemera from Tim Holtz. Yeah, slow stitching. Some ephemera. Some more slow stitching up here. I love, oh, so glad I put that little bell there. I know, it's the, it's the little things that entertain me. Um, so collaged. It's like a master board, but just on a, on regular scrapbooking paper. But I use scraps from gel plate prints to old old book pages from a Bible, an old church hymnal. Um, but I love and I use the Liquitex matte medium, and it just it it, it came out so good. Um, another little snippet here with like um, alcohol inked button with some fabric measuring tape printed uh, proverbs 1 5 um, another like a, a paper ruffle over here with another scripture one of my favorites um, franken page from nick the booksmith well i learned how to do it from her uh, one of my absolute favorite quotes from Anne Frank. She was a teenager. She perished. In, I mean, if you don't know who she is, Anne Frank is a, a young girl. She was a teenager and she perished in, I believe, in Auschwitz during the Holocaust, uh, during World War II. But how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. That's a pretty powerful statement coming from a young teenage girl who witnessed and saw and lost all the things that she did at her age. And then she ends up dying um, at, at Auschwitz. That's pretty powerful. That is one of my favorite quotes. Okay, so this is a journal with me that I watched, Nick the Booksmith. I did a little bit of collaging, a little sewing, some yarn. I think that's wool. Maybe that's wool. I'm not sure. But um, another one of my favorite quotes. I uh, consider how precious a soul must be when both God and the devil are after it. That's a pretty powerful statement. Charles Spurgeon. I printed this. I love trees. I love trees. I love stamping trees. I love painting trees. Uh, but I love trees. I always have. Especially my favorite time of the year is autumn with, when the trees are are just like, you know, full of the colors of of autumn you know uh, but I love trees and I printed this onto this it's, it's kind of like an eerie kind of spooky tree but and there's fog in the background and you can you can see a person right here just barely but there's a person there and I printed it on vellum and I love I, I love how it feels. I love how it looks. I'm going to bring it up so you can try to maybe see it a little bit better. Yeah. This is one of my hand 
marbled papers, homemade. Um, and I wanted to, um, way back when on my channel, there was a video that I did showing you how I hand marble my paper. Um, another beautiful image of a young girl. It looks from the background like it's like during medieval times, but she's praying the rosary. And then another, a tag behind it and with another woman during a different era. She's praying the rosary. Waiting in prayer is a disciplined refusal to act before God acts. That's very difficult for me to do sometimes because it's just, I, I, we all want to be in control. We all want to, we all want to control when things happen or when they don't happen or um, and it's not easy to sit back and let God do his thing um, but um, so these are original receipts invoices from a coffee company in Richmond Virginia November 19th 1938 um, my husband retired last year as a firefighter and I think he was a firefighter for 33 years or, or 30 years. I can't remember, but a long time. But anyways, when he was still a, a firefighter, one of his brother firefighters was not only in the fire service, but he was also, he spent his entire life as an, as an antiques dealer. And his mother did it and then his grandmother but um he had this big huge folder my husband had told him what i what i what i love to do and so he brought this folder in and it was all these old receipts and invoices and old music sheet paper that dated back like 1869 i think it was 1869 or 1879 but still like super old and he just gave it to me. I didn't have to pay for it. He just said, here, I'm not going to sell this. And he just gave it to me. That was, whoo, I was happy that day. So this is a faux eco dyed paper from watching Jibid Neary's video. I don't, I can't remember the name of it, but Jibid Neary does a, I think it, she calls it image transfer or some, something, something to the, um, but it's faux eco dyed paper and I love how this center page came out. Um, fabric tabs, fabric lace tabs, um, something I watched. I saw Liz, Mrs. Cog do on one of her videos with some safety pins, some beads, some another alcohol ink button. I think there's three of those in here. And I also make faux kind of tea bags and I attach them to the strings of the center of my signatures. And I just use old book pages to do that. And I usually stamp something on them or put little circle punch stuff. Yeah. Um, Kath Stewart, who is one of my favorite design team members of Tim Holtz. She has a blog and I was perusing her blog one day and she's like one of my favorite design team members and she made these I think it was a greeting card but I just made mine into a journal card but um, um, but I love I loved how it looked, so I said, you know what, I'm going to make one. I ended up making like 10 um, different colors, um, vintage washi tape. I think maybe that's Tim Holtz. This is one of his leaf die cuts uh, or dies. Uh, a little uh, definition dictionary um, uh, with the word believer. But I, I loved those. I made a bunch of them. Again, I'm going to try to link below everybody so you can go and check out these people's channels. I mean, really, like, filled with wonderful creative ideas. These people have 
oh, just, they're so talented and I have learned so much and they've really helped me. I mean, I uh, just, I, I just can't say enough thanks and enough wonderful things about these people. There's just so, so many of you. There's never enough time in the day for me to watch all the videos, really. Um, be the change you wish to see in the world. Tim Holtz is one of those people. I just, I love Timmy and I love Mario. Because, I mean, it's a package deal. You can't love one, not the other, okay? I mean, they are like the most awesome team together. Uh, Tim Holtz, Mario Rossi, I mean, <laughs> I don't really need to say anything. I, and I can't believe there's one of you that don't know who Tim Holtz and Mario Rossi are. So we're just going to go along. But this was, I think, a journal with me that I kind of watched of Nick the Booksmith, and I just put my own quote on there. Tim Holtz paper dolls. An old vintage button card with vintage buttons from my grandmother's tin. These are real vintage buttons from my grandmother's tin. Um, little dangle. Here we go. The other side of my uh, Franken page. <clears throat> um, uh, another uh, uh, poem. <clears throat> A collage kind of scrappy tag that I made with some die cuts. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I need to take a drink of coffee. Okay, here we go. Into my heart's treasury I slipped a coin that time cannot rust, nor a thief purloin. Oh, better than the minting of a gold-crowned king is the safe-kept mem memory of a lovely thing. I don't know why I love that poem, but I do. Okay, so... Mm, Scrappy notepad, tall one, with a really, really tall tag in the back. I mean, really, really tall tag in the back. So it just it just allows for more journaling space. Yvonne Preston. I watched her tutorial to, to make this. Um, the Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. Exodus 14. Um... We study the word and the works of God. Another painting, beautiful image of these two young girls praying. I think this frame I did, I watched yeah, another Nick the Booksmith video. Pretty sure it's one of hers. This is a, another one of my favorite tags to make. It's called, I think she calls it crazy quilt tag. Um, but I mean, I was a, I've been a quilter for 22 years. So when I can sew and create things that are like a quilt, um, to me, that's like a lot of fun. <laughs> so um, now the channel, I think, I think the title of the video is called Crazy Quilt Tags, but I'm not sure. But the channel is Bird Nest Books by Leanne. And I, I made a, I've made a bunch of these. Different colors, different themes with the pictures in the center, but oh, so much fun. So much fun. Hmm. Another flip up corner tuck, Yvonne Preston, uh, uh, Tim Holtz, um, die cut butterfly. This edge tuck is I I watched um, Pam from the Paper Outpost. Yeah, I learned that from her. This is one of my scraps of real eco dyed papers, and on this one it came out so cool. It's like the flower boiled itself into the paper. And it fossilized. I mean, come on now. That's awesome. It's awesome. Um, 
Watch over your heart with all diligence, for from it flow the springs of life. That's really important. That's really important. I've had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> but I'm much better at it now. Um, another fabric tab. Um, some Alphonse Mucha. Al Alphonse Mucha. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's that kind of theme. And that's some washi tape. I got it from Amazon. Scrap embossed cardstock. Distressed over the top of black soot and vintage photo. A little bit of lace, some eyelash trim, and some stickles. I'm going to bring it up so you can kind of see it a little better. There we go. Okay. This is... I died. I, I died. I printed onto vellum watching another Nick the Booksmith video. And, but the image I got from Nick the Booksmith, and then right after it, this was one of my gel plate prints, and I didn't plan it, <clears throat> but they go perfectly together. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so another, uh, this is a Mrs. Cog image. And uh, I did a collage. I don't remember. I don't remember. I think this is just one of my own things. I just, I think I was just in the mood that day and I don't think I watched anyone in particular. I think I just did this one on my own with, um, yeah, I think I just did this one on my own. But yeah, this I learned from, God, I think I learned it from G. Kerr. I'm pretty positive, but I'm, I'm, but I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> you literally take a stencil or you cut out an edge or punch out an edge uh, and you, you, I just use like temporary adhesive spray and you spray the backside and then you press it down and, but make sure it's the, sp the stuff, the adhesive that you can remove it. It's not permanent. Um, and I just press it down and distress the edges with whatever color I want. And then I gently remove it. And then you're left with this. I think I learned that from G. Kerr, but I'm not positive. <clears throat> Again, it's, I've, I've been working on this journal for two and a half years. <coughs> Another embossed scrap. with some lace and stickles. Um, this is some, this is stitched slots die from Tim Holtz. Um, a vintage, what is it called? Um, watch, pocket watch die. I've had that one for years. I don't even remember where I got that one from. And then the side with the numbers, that's Tim Holtz. Again, a paper punch, edge punch over here. Um, Nick the booksmith was using this punch and she said, oh my gosh, I just got this and it rocks my world. It rocked my world and it rocked my world too. So she said the name of it and I got lucky and I went on to eBay and I got one um, in mint condition and I use it a lot. Um, and then some more journaling space in here with another little quote. There are times when solitude is better than a society and silence is wiser than speech. That's me to a T. Um, little, little tuck embellishment, heart embellishment. I watched three different videos, Melina Pilant, and two others I can't remember, I think. I can't remember the other two, but I, I, I combine them. And basically, you start out with jazz up your scraps. The video from 
a recent video, a fairly recent video from Louise Heinzel, Louisa Heinzel. She shows you how to jazz up your scraps. Huh. Addicting. Like, I did it for four days. Nothing but. I, I now have two huge boxes. Huge boxes. Huh. It's crazy. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. Another alcohol ink button. The life of wisdom must be a life of contemplation combined with action. A little uh, altered paper clip. De-stress. It's very important. It's very important to de-stress de as often as possible. Um, I have some ornate <clears throat> cross dies. And I've put, I put this one, I don't know if I've got another one in here, but I, I put at least this one in here. And um, a quote by Mark Twain, and then a journaling flip-up card that goes with it. Altered junk mail envelope with a tag. Beauty is God's handiwork or handwriting. Come on. There we go. That tag goes with it. I, I learned this. I did this, the altered junk mail envelope from um, Rachel from Roxy's Creations. And then, oh my darling, it's true. Beautiful things have dents and scratches too. Come on. I don't like how it doesn't want to stay focused. Um, it's the one thing I don't like about this webcam. Um, <clears throat> so another collage kind of journal with me thing here. Another alcohol ink button. Tim Holtz plaque. I also alcohol inked that one. Um, what are we doing here for time? <clears throat> this is like one of my absolute favorite Rachel from Roxy Creations tutorials. Um, I will put a link below to this video. I'll, I'll try to remember to do that because <clears throat> it's one of my favorites and I learned it from her. So you open them up like, like doors, like old French doors. <laughs> Then there's a tag, little tags, little pieces of ephemera, and uh, a tag that's made with um, scraps of jelly plate prints. Then there's this big tag in the back. <clears throat> there's two pockets, two, sh and then there's this big tag. <clears throat> each, of <clears throat> excuse me, each of us will be a blessing to the other. Romans one twelve. I love trees, people. I have stamps for trees, of trees. I have pictures of trees. I also have, and then right at the bottom there is a wax seal of the tree of life. Um, so, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna cover it up. Okay, and then um, another one of my hand marbled papers, okay? So, and I took some burgundy hemp string to tie it up. Here we go. Um, uh, tuck spot. I was watching Andrea from Artie Mays one day and she made one similar to it. And I just kind of, I had a bunch of scraps and stuff on my desk. And I just threw this together and it says, begin each day anew. That's very important. It's very simple, but it's very important to remember. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. 
always try to begin each day anew. Don't don't stress or worry about what happened yesterday because it's gone. Tomorrow's not here yet. Uh, trust me, I've learned many things over the past two and a half years, and one of them is try to begin each day anew. That's it. Clean slate. <clears throat> Scrappy notepad. This one I learned from MS Scrapbusters. Melina Pilant. I watched her do this and I made one of my own. Some people grin and bear it. Others smile and change it. Smile often. Seriously. It's, they're contagious and they make people wonder. <clears throat> make them wonder. I don't know if I said this already because <clears throat> I've tried to make this video several times. But I'm going to say it because um, in one of Nick the Booksmith's videos I watched a long time ago, she said <clears throat> she was making a, an embellishment or adding something to a page or I'm not sure what she was doing, but she said, make them wonder. Always make them wonder. Make them wonder about why you put that number up in the corner of the page or why did, you know, make them wonder why you sewed that particular piece of textile down <clears throat> on top of that coffee stained page or, or whatever, whatever. Make them wonder. It makes things more interesting. And it just stuck with me. So I try in every journal that I make to make people wonder about one thing or another. Oh, I'm looking out my craft room window. And, I'm, and I, I, like, I see butterflies everywhere. I see birds. And there's, there's got to be, I don't know, lately, like, 10 to 15 beautiful cardinals, like, at any given time. Like, tons of cardinals. Oh, oh I just, I love it out here. Okay, so, <clears throat> I made a tag. Another one of those crazy quilt tags um, with a little tag and a medallion, Tim Holtz medallion with some beads on a bulb pin. And then uh, another one of my marbled papers. This one's got greens and blacks and tans. Though my soul may set in darkness, it will rise again in light. I have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. I love that poem. I bought this stamp off of I put it on my watch page and I bought it like a long, I don't know. It was on my watch page on eBay for the longest time. And finally I just said, I, I have to have that stamp. And I finally bought it and then I put it into this journal. What is done is done. You can't do anything about it. You know, what happened yesterday, last week, last month, whatever. It, it's done. Stop. I, I have learned that it's pointless. It's a waste of energy to focus or stress about things that cannot be changed. What's done is done. Um, and a uh, flip out, a, a tall, narrow <clears throat> flip out um, with little pockets and little tags. Again, Melina Pilant, MS Scrapbusters. And then I got a coffee tag. I got to put something about coffee in every journal because I love coffee. I have that. I have one tall cup of coffee every morning. My husband doesn't talk to me until I've had some coffee. But um, I have to put. I love coffee. And I've got stamps. You know, I got stamps. I've stamped on it. Uh, coffee beans and you know all those wonderful danishes and pastries and stuff that go so good with coffee I got I've stamped those on there too um, and I think yeah and then there's this coffee grinder I stamped old coffee grinder so I'm gonna put that back in there and flip it over can you hear smudge yeah I know you can hear him is that ridiculous or what? Altered guest check. 
see on this there she is hopefully it'll come back and come on see that look on her face that's me this little girl reminds me so much of me when I was like, I had to put that in. I had to put it on her. I mean, I had to put this particular Tim Holtz paper doll onto this guest check because it's me. Is when I was a, my permanent resting face scowl. That's it. That's that was me. It's still me. People look at me and say, "You haven't changed a bit, have you?" No, nope, haven't. Um, Robin McClendon's roll. Rolodex, Jelly Dex series. I mean, whoa, that just, that sustained me and kept me going for months. Um, I have an old vintage Rolodex and, but I got, I went to a Goodwill and I got like <clears throat> two boxes of Rolodex cards. And so I put, the base of it was putting the Rolodex cards down on the jelly plate with different techniques, different paints, different stencils, all sorts of things. Mark making, the list goes on. And then I just built on those um, Rolodex cards that I had jelly plated. And I, I mean, I did some scribbling, some doodling, some little tiny punch out, paper punch outs. And a teensy weensy little tag. Look at how tiny it is. See how tiny it is? It's so little. Anyhow, that's. And then there's another altered paper clip with a bead dangle. And another paper clip here. It says, don't forget a little space to write something if you don't, if it's really important and you don't want to forget it. Stenciled this page with some pink. Uh, washi tape, <clears throat> another fabric tab, grunge washi tape I learned from Nick the Booksmith, uh, one of the, another one of the Proverbs, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. Just another one of my favorite scriptures. <clears throat> and then here we go, we got this. Really quick, I'm going to pull this out going to be like magic. I learned this from Pam at the Paper Outpost. I'm not sure what the title of the video is, but I learned this is, I watched her do this and then I had to make one. <clears throat> so we're going to go, no, I'm going to move this over because you're going to, I want you but I want you to be able to see it all. All right, so, ta-da! And then, Ta-da! <laughs> Tons of journaling spaces. Smiles are contagious. A pretty bird stamp. Stamp of pansies. Simple pleasures. Well, simple pleasures are life's greatest treasures. This is another one of my favorite scriptures. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Matthew 6, 26. <clears throat> and then, wait for it, you flip it over, and there's more journaling space. Live life like a Baroque stamp. <clears throat> Take note. <clears throat> Excuse me. Simple pleasures are life's greatest treasures. Over there, too. And we do it again on this side. God is love. Another Baroque type stamp. A little banner that says love. Plans are dream, dreams in the making. Ta-da! Is that cool or what? It's just like secret. It's like a secret passageway. Like you would, no one would ever think you could go like that on both sides. On, and front and back. I love that. Okay, so we've come to the end. I don't know. I'm going to pull it up so you can see how I did that. It's like, uh, yeah, basically, yeah, it's cardstock, thick cardstock, 
3D embossing folder. Then I rubbed like um, like gold metallic luster over the embossed areas, just the top. Um, on the front one, I did um, again. Um, on the front one, I did um, I put some like stickles glitter glue over it on the front one. But they're both very similar. Um, calling card, vintage calling card with a random girl's name on it. Um, again, another one of those MS Scrap Buster Molina Pylants with the flower, oh, with the petals from scrap papers. And then over here in the corner, down here in the corner is just a little piece of fabric. I got these on, e on Etsy from a seller. I thought they were just so cool. It's like super old embroidered initials on a roll of fabric, okay? And then the seller listed all the initials that she had. And she had GB. Gina B, hello. I had to have it. And I don't think they were that, I don't think they were that expensive, but I had to have one. And I've got, and now I've got like, I don't know, like I think there's like a roll of like 200 or something. I don't even know if I'll make 200 videos, uh, 200 journals before I leave this world. So, um, uh, but I'm going to put them in every journal that I make. From, I mean, because it's just, that's so adorable. It's just like, a, it's just a little something and it's personal. You know, it represents me. Um, so there you have it. She is for sale. I'll put a link below to where she can be purchased. And I'm super excited about being back and being in my craft room and it's all organized and oh, like, oh, I'm just, you just, I can't even tell you in words how happy I am. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do at least one to two videos every week, not go two and a half years without doing another video. Um, I'm really going to try hard. Um, thank you so much to all of you that stuck with me, who didn't unsubscribe from my channel, who, and, and to all of you, because there's a huge bunch of you that have tried on very, on several occasions to reach out to me and make sure that I'm all right and to let me know that you care and you're concerned and you're praying for me through various forms of social media. Everything from Pinterest to Instagram. I mean, um, thank you so much. And to my new subscribers, I just can't believe that. I've watched over the last several months. I haven't done a video in two and a half years and still people are subscribing to my channel. That just blows my mind. How blessed am I? How blessed am I? So I hope all you women out there have a wonderful, happy Mother's Day. Mom, I love you. Um, I thank God for everything that I have and for getting me this far. Um, give me a thumbs up. Click that, click that thumbs up button for me, please. And, uh, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got lots of ideas, new ideas. Uh, and, and new techniques and things I want to show you. Um, this it's it's just it's just up uphill from from here. It's just I'm so excited. I love you all. Bye for now.